in a heartbeat was was probably the toughest one, the toughest R song so far for me to write. Um, Johnny Fletcher was in his in his early 30s, um, a new dad, just a really happy person when he unexpectedly passed away of a brain aneurysm. My favorite thing about Johnny was his heart. Um, he just loved so deeply and he just made sure everybody knew that they felt loved and that they were special and he just he lit up a room when he walked in and he was my best friend he was just always so alive and so full of joy all the time and you couldn't be in a bad mood when he was around because he just had a way of loving you right out of it. I just knew going into this that I had to put myself in Brittany's place, in her shoes. I've asked her so many questions and she's answered and, and she said a few times that that process has been really helpful to her. The morning Johnny passed away, um, he was already gone when I left, when I woke up. He was singing in church that morning. And uh, so I just got up like it was, an, it was a normal day. I was getting ready for church and getting Isabel ready. And um, I got a text saying that he got sick really fast, but he was fine. And they were taking him to the hospital just to be safe. So I called him and um, he answered and he reassured me that it was okay. And at the end of the call, he said, I love you. That's the last time I talked to him. <laughs> Letting myself be where Brittany is and feel what I feel that she's feeling, if that makes any sense. And what I came up with was um, how fast everything happens. You know, how quickly we fall in love, how quickly our children are born, and how quickly it can all just be gone in a heartbeat. When I found out that Johnny had passed away, I, I didn't, uh, I almost, I couldn't breathe. Um, I had to get through the next few hours, just a minute at a time, a breath at a time. I didn't know who I was anymore. I didn't know how to be a single mom. I didn't know how to be a widow at 27. I knew that he would want me to keep living and someday thrive again. And I knew that Izzy couldn't be left alone and I had to be there for her. I didn't have a choice. So gradually knowing those things, I just kept, I started living a little bit more at a time every day. I just lived a little bit more whether I wanted to or not. And then I started wanting to. And now um, it's still very, very difficult. I wanted Megan to write me a song because I felt how deeply she cared from the very beginning. I didn't know it would be this much help and it, it would be this, it would have this kind of impact on Brittany. The first time I heard In a Heartbeat, I, I sobbed, but it was, it was sorrow mixed with joy and that's one thing I've, I've learned through this process is they're not mutually exclusive. You can feel sorrow and joy. And it was something that I needed that I didn't know that I did until I heard it. Through all of the pain and the grief that I have felt, I would marry him again. I wouldn't change anything because he was worth it.